nutritional chats with Andrea, we've spoken about a whole bunch of nutrients. We know about the vitamins, the vitamin A, vitamin B, 1, 2, 5, 12, all of these. But there's one that we've actually never spoken about before on the show. And we see it every single day on TV commercials. It's in all these body creams. Vitamin E. Now, did you know that it's not only good for your skin, but also good for brain development as well? Andrea, I didn't know that vitamin E was so important. Why haven't we been speaking about it? I think we've been focusing on all the other vitamins so much, we forgot about this one. Yeah. So I thought, what a good time now, um, because they've actually highlighted again with research how critical and vital vitamin E is for brain development and brain functioning. And why I thought of that is probably one of the most common questions I get on Facebook is what can I use to help me focus and concentrate and what is important for brain development. Yeah, so w when it comes to the kinds of foods that have vitamin E, what are we looking at? Well, vitamin E is a, a fat-soluble vitamin. Mm -hmm. So itself is an oily substance, mm -hmm. so it's found in the oily components of foods. Mm -hmm. um, avocado is packed with vitamin E. Okay. And so too wheat and wheat germ. It's not a germ at all. <laughs> it's a component of the wheat kernel, yes. which contains a bit of oil. Mm -hmm. And in there is vitamin E. Okay, so I mean, when you, when you said avo, immediately the picture of uh, somebody with a face mask made yes. of avo came up because that's why it's good for your skin, because of the high vitamin E content in it. Definitely, I mean, and that has been a controversial point for many years. Mm -hmm. They said that vitamin E is definitely good for the skin. Mm -hmm. It helps in uh, maintaining a youthful skin. Mm -hmm. They even say that it can help delay the onset of premature wrinkles. Wow. It can even help with um, prevention of scarring, etc. Mm -hmm. But they said that that is only true if you take it internally. That applying vitamin E onto your skin, like with a cream with vitamin E or mashed up ever on your face, is yeah. not going to do it because it can't absorb into your skin. Wow. But, Interesting fact. Mm, yeah. But now they've researched that and mm -hmm. they've found that actually vitamin E can be absorbed into your skin deep enough mm -hmm. to help support the repair. Uh -huh. So those creams with vitamin E really work. Yeah. And mashing up an ever and putting it on your face is probably not a bad idea. Okay. Either. But like, like you said, I think taking, you know, healing your body from the inside out is probably the best way. Because like you've always said that it's, it's about what you take into your body. That you, yes. you are what you eat. That's right. So, so vitamin E is um, one of the most important nutrients. Mm -hmm. um, and many people follow low fat or fat free diets okay. and in the process the un unintended consequence is a lower intake of vitamin E. Mm -hmm. So for ladies that are concerned about premature skin aging it's really important to eat your nuts and seeds, those are other food sources of, of vitamin E. Mm -hmm. And the avocado, so I mean that already makes a lovely salad, just green leaves with your um, nuts and, and seeds and avo. Yeah. Um, and then also wheat products, contain a fit, but whole wheat, yeah. not but, me, but Peruikis. <laughs> but not just, not just ladies, I tell you, because you know, guys out there are also looking to maintain and you know, have that youthful looking skin. Have you seen Pharrell? Pharrell Williams at, what, at 40, he looks yes. incredible. Yes. Wow. Um, so we said, yes, important for brain development and uh, important for, for your skin as well. Uh, in terms of you know kind of preventing premature uh, aging of the skin but is it one of those nutrients that you can get too much of and it can then be harmful yes um, vitamin E they say you shouldn't take more than a thousand milligrams per day mm -hmm. and through dietary sources you'll never get there so there's no chance of eating too many avos or too much um, um, bread or too many nuts but in supplementation form if you don't have for a medical reason the need for more than a thousand milligrams a day that's a good place to stop mm -hmm. um, because typically uh, 400 milligrams of supplement would be more than enough yeah. yes for normal general needs and why it's prescribed sometimes as a sort of a natural medicine is for heart conditions so okay. somebody that has heart problems that has had a heart attack or has circulatory problems sometimes it's prescribed for them specifically in mm -hmm. a higher dose yeah. But that's usually under medical supervision. Okay, wow, there you go, there you have it. Mm. Vitamin E, that's the short little class on it. I still want to know, Andre, but who decided to give the vitamins their names? There's a vitamin A, there's a C, and a D, and you know, B112, who decided this? Well, I think we should do another insert on that because I don't know the answer. So I'll have to go and research that first. You do that. All I'm glad about is that there is a vitamin K out there, believe it or not. <coughs> I'm just saying, <coughs> you know, just. Have a look at it, vitamin K, I'm joking. Listen, if you have any more questions, you are welcome to ask those on Andrea's Facebook page. It's Andrea Dubussy, Vital Expert. The Vital Foundation takes action against women and child abuse. One rand from every Vital Pack will be donated to organizations fighting abuse. Make a difference.